Hey you guys, this is Riley here with Learn With Me. And this video here is gonna be a little progress update on some ginger I've been growing. Unfortunately, I gotta let you guys know uh, a little update on my, my tuber updates, but uh, let's uh, let's get to it. Uh, you'll see more about that in the next few, uh, next few minutes. So if you have any other questions or anything, please let me know or leave them in the bio. Otherwise, let's go. you guys this right here is my ginger that I've been growing over the winter isn't this awesome now I'm taking it out because as you can see the leaves and stuff are like being curled and stuff and that's because I had it in a plastic bag to try to keep the moisture and everything and I honestly have not watered this plant all winter I have just kept it in a container and it has just grown and kept itself moisturized. While it's not doing the best, it's still doing pretty good. Like, it's just surviving. If you can look at these roots, look at that. That is pretty crazy. Now, the reason I'm changing out the bag is due to the fact that I've noticed a lot of bugs and stuff accumulating. I guess that was already in the soil. And, uh, or at least left over it, it that came back in at one point and I wanted to make sure that I made the put this in a bigger bag and I made sure to get a stake kind of like this I got that from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna the goal is to put this in there let's see hopefully I don't hit anything Oh, that seemed pretty hard. Okay, that didn't seem too bad. All right, see that you guys? So the previous bag, which I'm gonna be honest with you, it kind of stopped right about here. The reason, it, that's the reason why everything's curled. And the reason is that because this was one of multiple root uh garden well multiple root crops that i tried to grow inside and spoiler alert the other tuber video didn't work out as well and ended up resulting in my all of them really dying i mean i had one the ginger seemed out of all the potatoes and stuff like that the ginger seemed to do the best but it was it was interesting is that the other ones they just kind of died i guess that it was too got too cold at certain points. I mean, it stayed inside, so I was wonder. I was pretty caught off guard that it didn't work out. But I don't know. I uh, I guess it was it was sprayed in some growth inhibitors, or it might not have just been warm enough. It might not have been the ideal setting. But you believe me, I will try again. But yeah, this. Well, like I said, the reason they curved is that the bag I had over was being held up by this stick. And I just kind of, I started multiple ones. Like, I think I started like four or five of these. And as you can see, I got the classic uh, spinach container to use it with. And the interesting thing about it is that I was like, I'd left it alone. I think I left three in my house. And all of a sudden, I came out and I was like, holy crap. Like, I came to one of the rooms. I think I left it in a back, random back room. And I came out and I noticed that there were like three, these three stalks just sticking straight up. And it's just crazy how well it's grown and everything. Yeah. Uh, the biggest reason I have it outside right now is that there's bugs in there. And I don't want these to get into my house and stuff. So it might be a little cold for right now. But as long as I don't leave this out here too long, uh, it should be okay. But yeah, the goal is that I'm going to fit the diatomaceous earth yeah the goal here is going to be putting some diatomaceous earth on the uh the top layer of the soil to try to kill off some of the bugs and try to uh kind of help the soil out a bit more um and just kind of go from there and then well, after i do that i'm gonna Take this big bag 
and I'm gonna cover it and use the top of this uh, this rod here as a way to keep the sun like to keep the bag from actually collapsing on it like the previous situation and hopefully by the time it actually stabilizes and gets warm out here I can just transplant all of this outside and maybe even harvest one of these just to see how it turns out so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will let you know how it turns out all right I have spread over the diatomaceous earth over the soil might actually put a little bit more sand and stuff on there and then I'll go from there but for right now this should keep the bugs down and I'm gonna add a little fertilizer to it as well Gonna add a little bit of sand on here as well. And you guys, like I said, I'm just doing this stuff because I like gardening and it's currently midnight and I'm just trying, just having a blast and I'm just excited for the season. So like I said, I'm gonna kind of spread this stuff all around. And if you guys have any suggestions, I, I pro like I said, I, we are all learning together. Let's hold each other accountable. If you guys think I'm doing anything wrong, please let me know. Because like I would love to have like you know an entire garden of lavender, or an entire garden of ginger, or an entire garden of just so many different plants. And I want you guys to have that too. So like please like help us out. You see someone else talking about that in the comments? Like oh man, I wish I could grow collard greens or something. You tell them like oh you can. If they have a problem like. If you don't know it, if I can't get to it, I'll, you guys feel free to let me know or let them know. But like I said, I'm going to try to help all of you out. I hope that we all can all help each other out as we all try to, you know, enjoy this wonderful thing that is gardening. Get back to the land, get back to just the simple life. And you don't have to go like completely Amish about it or it's completely just for sake technology, but we can all just kind of help each other. It's turn out great. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it's, I'm gonna see how it turns out because I've done very little for this plant and it has managed to survive. So I think I might tie some straps to it and I'll check back with you after that. All right, you guys, this walkie contraption is the final product. I could not find any proper string, so I found some weed whack string, and we're gonna use that. And hopefully, with the sunlight, I can get this to straighten back out. But for right now, at least this isn't curled over on itself, and all the moisture isn't ruining the leaves, like you can see right here on that one. All right, you guys, this is the finished product. All right. I mean, no guarantees that it'll hold up, but as long I just needed to hold up for another month or two until like the temperature stabilized into the warmth of April, late April, early May, or maybe even the end of May. Uh, like I said, so far as this is worked out this well, and like I said, I've, I've probably said in previous videos, I'm trying to find some easy crops that are high quality but are easy to grow like i'm gonna grow tomatoes this year but am i gonna have like six to eight <laughs> tomato plants like i've had in previous years oh no i don't, I don't want that anymore that's just too much work <laughs> with that being said i will let you guys know how this turns out but see it's just easy just get you just try to get your daily intake of spinach in finish that up and then maybe get you some ginger to add to I don't know, maybe some kombucha or something. And then throw like the leftover scraps in some dirt and look at that, you got a full on plant. Now you're a gardener. Maybe you're even a farmer. Hmm. Can you be even an astronaut? Okay, let's 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 just bring ourselves back down to the turf here for a sec. But at least if you're not anything else, hopefully you're satisfied. But yeah, you guys, I will catch you guys later. <sighs> Uh, yeah, thanks you guys for taking the time to uh, watch this video. Um, in case I haven't mentioned it before, uh, please 
lot take some time to like subscribe comment it really helps the algorithm helps they know that you guys like watching the videos and it helps me know what you really like to watch and stuff like this so if you guys like don't don't stay quiet if you guys really like certain things that i do please let me know if you think i should improve on certain things please let me know um i'm get, trying to get better every day and i'm hoping to document this journey so you guys can be along with me as i I just embark on my whole gardening journey and maybe one day I can have my own like big food forest and I can be that crabby old man in the garden that everyone's like oh where's grandpa he's he's in the garden well uh, okay well it's nine o'clock at night well he's in the garden well it's six o'clock in the morning where is he he's in the garden I want to be that guy I just want to be the guy leave me alone with my plants and I mean there's time for family and stuff too but yeah, like guys, like, subscribe. Please let me know if you need anything else. If you have anything you want me to do any future videos on. And I will catch you guys later. Stay breezy. Yeah, I was playing music off of this speaker. So that's why this is in my hand right now. So.